Mrs. Crane. <clears throat> it's me, Tabitha. <laughs> Sorry, Tabitha, you, you startled me. I can see that. <laughs> Is there something you want? Well, I, I thought there was maybe something I could do for you. You rushed away so quickly after I'd read your tea leaves. Yes, yes, and I'm very grateful that you did that because you made me realize that Ethan's life will be ruined if he kills Julian. It would all be my fault. How so? Oh, I should have thought through every detail. I, I should have thought of all of the consequences. Yes? Nothing, nothing. I just need to find Ethan before he vents his rage on Julian. That's all. Excuse me. is never wrong. There's going to be a murder here tonight and there's nothing you can do to stop it, Ivy, dear. And as for you, I told you I'd get back at your bloody family. This'll teach you for burning me at the stake, albeit 300 years ago. <laughs> Did you find Ethan? No, not yet. Uh, uh, Luis. I spoke to him. I tried to calm him down. But he's determined to kill Julian. Oh, Mama, this is my fault. No, Teresa, we can't start thinking like that. Yes, if I would have just told the truth. Well, if I didn't keep those secrets. It's too late for that now, Teresa. Mama, if Ethan and Luis find Julian, they will kill him. I just pray that they don't, Mia. Mama, they blame him for getting me pregnant, for sleeping with me. If they kill him, they will go to prison. What have I done? <laughs> I'll tell you what you've done, Teresa. You've helped sign Julian's death warrant. <laughs> but don't think it's just Luis and Ethan who are looking to do him in. Oh, no, there are many, many people who want to see Julian Crane dead. <laughs> <laughs> 